Good morning. It is Wednesday and day 28 of Vlogtober. Um, it's still half term and we're off out today to a place about a 25 minute drive away called Emmett's Garden. It's a National Trust place. It's a big um, garden. <laughs> Lots of um, lovely places to walk, views over the Kent Downs. Um, it's a really nice place. The last time we went there was last summer. I took the girls there one day when it was like the hottest day of the year. Such a miserable day, <laughs> so hot. But we had a really nice time there walking through the meadow. We had a picnic and it was really nice. And we've always meant to go back. So we thought now at this time of year we could have a really lovely autumn picnic. So I'm just making up some tiger rolls. I wanted soft rolls because tiger rolls are so messy. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna take a picnic and some hot chocolate and have a little wander around there and then see where the day takes us. I um, didn't get much sleep last night at all. Went to bed early, read my book, and then Dan kept me awake snoring for most of the night. And then the rest of the time, I seemed to be turning things over in my mind. So. I don't know, like stress dreams and things like that. So that kept me awake. Um, and then I got woken up um, just before my alarm broke down, starting to snore again. And then next door, our annoying neighbours um, started banging something uh, just before 7am, which is annoying at any time of the week, but most of all when it's half term and everyone's in bed. Anyway, at one point I had to, I think it must have been about three in the morning, I put on my MP3 player. Yes, I have an old school MP3 player that I bought recently. I've never, I never had one of these even when they were a thing. But I bought it recently and I downloaded onto it just brown noise. Now brown noise is different to white noise because it's constant. It's kind of like the noise you get like if you were on an aeroplane, that constant humming. And it's really good at drowning out other sounds but it also just for me, I find it such a helpful sound to help me fall asleep. But now it's run out of battery. So I brought it down to give it a charge. And what I do is I just keep it. It's the only thing it's got on it is the brown noise. And the file lasts about three hours. And I've got it on there twice. Um, and I just keep it in my bedside drawer in a little um, pouch. And if I ever need it, I can grab it. I forgot to say yesterday a couple of things. One, thank you to everyone that had recommended an app um, or a website for tracking satellites and the International Space Station. I've downloaded a couple and they're really good. One of them gives a forecast for when it comes over your area, which is good. Unfortunately, for the whole of this week, it's only passing at about four in the morning. So there's no way that Lilia's gonna get up to view that, not a chance. Um, and also, I wanted to say, I listed the Strictly badges yesterday. Now I've only got, I only ordered a batch of 50 just to see how they were, and I'm happy with them. So I've listed 40 of them. I'm keeping 10 back just to put with prizes. And I'm gonna order another big batch. So there will be more coming. Um, I'm gonna email them today, order a, a big batch, and then they'll be available. What I kind of wanted to do, I had a couple of ideas for another design or two to do as just badges which I thought might be better if you were ordering abroad because obviously they're a really cheap item. They're only £1.50, which is like less than half of what it costs to post them to somewhere like the US because they still have to go as a large letter. So um, I was going to try and order some more designs and have things so that you had a selection that if you were ordering a badge, at least you could order you know, a few to make it worth it. But watch this space. I think a lot of that stuff will have to happen in November. Oh, my mug looks really, really bright. Have I got my, I think I might have my, what do you call it? I don't know, the thing that makes it brighter or darker. I think I've got it set too high. I've had quite a few questions and I've been writing them down. And I thought it might be fun after Vlogtober to do um, a Q&A. What do you reckon? Because I get quite a lot of questions like where I work or about what I do. Um, how come I was a professional face painter? How did Dan and I meet? Why is Phoebe a pescatarian? And all kinds of questions. So if you've got anything you want to ask that might be quite interesting that we could sit and answer in a Q&A video, I fancy doing that for a while. Drop a question underneath in the comments and after Vlogtober is over I thought we might do something like that for fun. If you're interested, 
even if we only get like four questions we'll do it <laughs> okay i've been waffling on for over five minutes already and nothing's happened so i'm going to get on with making these cheese rolls i'll see you later Little tip I learned from Gainer of Tales and Cuckoo Land, instead of cling film, which I just don't buy anymore, I save the inside packets from cereal, wash them and cut them up and use those as cling film. Ta-da! <laughs> then I can just wash them and use them again. Also, prepare yourself for cuteness. This is one of Rails, the dabbly hooks, little octos. A little no so octopus crochet pattern and on her instagram she had made a pumpkin one and a frankenstein one and as soon as i saw the pumpkin one i had to copy her immediately this is not my idea this is completely ripped off from rel they say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery so rel i hope you're feeling very flattered i've copied you shamelessly i'm so happy with him he's gonna go and sit on my fireplace and bring a little pumpkin octo cuteness That's the hill, when we go up there it might be a bit steep and we go around there and we'll see if there's a bench maybe for hot chocolate. Good idea. Mm.
Hello, Lilia. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the uh, under cover of the trees, which is good because it's just started raining. Um, we're just doing a little walk around, it's kind of a woodland walk around the outside of the um, structured gardens. We last came when it was really hot and we didn't actually see all of this because we literally just came, had a picnic, had an ice cream and went home, it was so hot. So this time we're getting to see a lot more of it and it really is amazing. It's the perfect place to come at autumn. Try and pick up what it all looks like. <laughs> yeah. There's a child's shoe hanging in that tree. Well, that's just spooky. <laughs> if anyone starts singing Ring of Roses in a spooky voice, I'm I'm out of here. <laughs> Christmas baby. One, two, three. <gasps> it looks so cozy. It looks so Put pretty. The stairs. So cute. <coughs> They're all ready for Christmas. We wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Had to get it with a little car park outside. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your King. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Didn't think that would ever focus. Oh, I look really tired. <laughs> it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just about to get in the bath. Dan's going to take over and play with Phoebe for a while and her Sylvanian house, which she's got all set up for Christmas. Then we're going to have to think about what we want for dinner because we haven't really prepared for it today. And as usual, I just don't fancy anything. Nothing. Just got no appetite. I'll eat. But I never fancy it. Like, and even when it's on the table in front of me, I think, nah. And then I'll eat it and I think, yeah, that was okay. But I can't plan it because I just don't want anything. I look so tired. I look like I've got really dark circles under my eyes. It's really dark, so I've shut the curtains. It's bucketing down with rain as well. And then I've got the overhead light on. But I also do have very dark circles under my eyes. It's a family thing. It's hereditary. Um, where was I going with that? Yeah, I'm about to get in the bath. 
and relax. We've had a really lovely afternoon um, and morning at Emmett's Garden. It was so magical. It was the perfect way to spend an autumn day. I'm really, really glad we went and we found some amazing mushrooms and it topped it all off with finding the most perfect little toadstools at the end, which is all Phoebe wanted to find. So I'm really glad that we found that. Um, yeah, and then I want to finish this and get it edited and uploaded. One of the things I've done this for October, which I've never done before, is get the videos uploaded on the day that I film them. And I'm not going to be doing that again. <laughs> That's quite stressful. But I'm nearly at the end now, so I'm kind of like, well, I might as well just do it for the last few days. Um, but yeah, no, that's definitely more stressful filming, editing and uploading all in the same day, definitely. So I think when I do um, vlogs again, I will stick to filming them and uploading them sometime the day after. Much easier. <laughs> and it means I'm not editing into the evening as well. Um, and uh, yeah, Vlogmas. I've had a few questions about Vlogmas. I'm not intending to do a daily Vlogmas series because it, it's quite a lot and I really want to enjoy Christmas and not have to worry about that. But I am going to do some vlog, vlog, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to do some speaking with words. Vlogmas vlogs. And I'm going to do them in chunks. So I'll film a bit and maybe do them every three or four days or every couple of days. Or whenever I've got enough to upload something interesting and Christmassy. That's what I'm going to do. Or that's what I intend to do. The best laid plans and all that. Uh, what else was I going to come on and rabbit about? <laughs> what can I throw at you? <laughs> I don't think I've got anything else. Um... We're just going to cosy down later. Definitely going to have a little glass of wine later as well because I am so tired I can barely see. I'm going to have a glass of wine, read the book and go to bed. <laughs> uh, we've got to watch the end of Bake Off um, because we were too tired last night to watch the end. So we'll watch the last uh, shot of half hour of that after the kids are in bed. We're currently on season seven of Buffy, which we're watching with Lilia. And um, yeah, that's hard going. My goodness me, that's angsty. There's a lot of dark stories going on. It, is, it feels a bit like a bit of a, a trudge getting through the episodes at the moment. So I'm hoping the final series is a bit, a bit more perky. Um, I'm just looking around at yarn because there's a bar that I've got a basket of yarn. Shall I just flash you a bit of yarn? Look. This is this is like what I can see when I'm in bed. This this basket of yarn here. Mm. <laughs> I just turned around and looked at it and it's all I've just noticed it's all sparkly as well I keep all the sparkly yarn where I can see it apparently right I'm going to stop waffling and I'm going to go and enjoy my bath edit a bit and read a bit as well it's quarter to seven Dan's just getting dinner in the oven we, we decided to go for enchiladas that's what Phoebe chose so we're having summer chicken and some are corn. So Dan's just doing that now, but they went out quarter past four to get the kit to make it, and they didn't get back till half past six because they got stuck. Um, first of all, there was a car accident. Someone had driven into the post of width restrictions, which is incredibly difficult to do at speed because the idea of width restrictions is that they slow you down. Um, and then there was just traffic getting out of Sainsbury's. If you've watched my vlogs, in the past, you will know that I once got stuck in Sainsbury's car park for two hours. <laughs> anyway, they're home. We're getting the dinner on. And yeah, I think everyone's just weary. And we've just had an email to let us know that the pumpkin farm that we were supposed to be going to tomorrow to pick our pumpkins has had to close because it's rained so much that their car park has turned into a mudslide. So I'm going to get online and see if I can find another option for tomorrow. I mean, we're, we're already going to Rochester, which we love, and hoping to get to up in the castle, but we need a pumpkin element, otherwise we've got no pumpkins. So I'll see what I can do. We need a song of the day, and we were discussing it earlier, and I think we're going, actually, I'm just gonna move into the living room. The song of the day today, we were talking about earlier, we're gonna go for Cherish by Cool and the Gang, because it's a song I remember listening to growing up, a lovely song lovely words and that's the song of the day and I think it's a perfect song as the rain is falling and we're all feeling a little bit jaded after a sort of difficult late afternoon 
So enjoy it, it's on the playlist now and thank you for joining us for another day. Thank you to everybody for your continued lovely, lovely comments and for hitting that like button and for the beautiful emails that you send and the messages and the lovely comments. Um, I just continue to be, I just feel very, very lucky, basically, that's the word. But before this turns into an Oscar acceptance speech, I'm going to go and we will see you tomorrow for day 29 of Vlogtober. Three days to go.